Hello, it's June and it's been a beautiful June. Not only have we had glorious sunshine, but we've also had some intermittent rain, which of course the allotment loves. So it's been a really great, uh, a really great June. And as you can see, I'm holding in my hands my, probably about my fifth harvest of squash. Um, these are some Italian ones. I've been calling them straight necks for a kind of abbreviation. This is a little crook neck. I'm picking these quite, well, this is about the size you want to pick them. This is a bit smaller than I would normally pick, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pick lots of squash that I've got, and I'm going to make a little skewers, little squash skewers, for us all to enjoy on our lovely barbecue, which we're about to have. Hooray! And I'm just, <laughs> I'm just going to rummage around, and you can come and have a look at how well some of my squash plants are doing. They do look really, really so, big and healthy. For people who were slightly doubting the goodness of planting through the weed matting, you can see for squash, it is absolutely perfect way to do it. Now over here, I've got some, oh, obviously we've got straight squash, and oh yes, what perfect little skewering size that is. Oh wow. So yeah, I've got a couple of those on this plant. I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, and then over here, I think we can justify taking a few baby, what are these called? One balls? Yes. A couple of one balls. And let's see what else I've got. This is the exciting bit. I love coming up and seeing how much has grown since I was here last. And there's always plenty. There's always lots for a lovely meal. Isn't the squash plant such an abundant, friendly plant? <laughs> it's my favourite thing, as you might have guessed. And for me, the taste of summer is fried squash, the smell of buttery, flowery, creamy, sweet, yummy gooiness. And then in winter, you have the the sticky orange of the winter squash and I think it's one of the most amazing plants and this is just just why. Another lovely thing that's grown in my allotment is this gorgeous kale. Wow. I think that I shall be able to have a few leaves of this soon. <gasps> You're not going to save it for the wintry mm. winteriness. I think it'll probably grow some more leaves before winter. And look at these lovely strawberries that I've got from my patch. Oh, mmm, oh, that's lovely. One of the wonderful things about June is that we have summer solstice right at the end. And that part of the year for the gardener marks a time when you've done a lot of sowing, your sowing comes to an end, there are still a few things to be sown, and the harvest starts. And there's only a few things that you can get in before the end of the year now. If you've got things in the ground, it's, they're starting to get to a size like this that you can just leave them from week to week and come and pick what you want. want. And it's such a beautiful time of the year because summer's really here and you've got the long months of Ju July and August to look forward to and the long no! summer holiday with the children. And it's such a lovely, good, warm, <laughs> comforting time of year and fills you with the joy of gardening. Aww. So end of June, it's been a really nice month. My favourite thing about June is that there's very little work left to do. All the planting is done that's gonna get done, all the digging is done. It's just about doing a bit of weeding, picking some stuff, having beautiful calendula. Oh, it's so lovely. And on this side, I've got crazy borage, which I've, I've had to pull some <laughs> up today because it's kind of taken over. There's some gladioli in there that, that don't want oh, to be yeah. drowned. What I'm going to harvest today is some onions for our barbecue. Now, Erica, would you like brown onions, purple onions, <gasps> or white onions? Well, should we have a mixture? Yeah. So one of each, shall we? Is that going to be enough, one of each? Uh, yeah, actually, that's probably about right. Yeah. I have got, well, there are lots of squash to go with them. There's one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Beautiful white onion. And over here. Oh, this looks like a nice big purple onion. Do you want to show us some more of your lovely yeah, growing this? Over here, my asparagus is doing nicely. Just weeded the strawberries today. What we've got coming out of some of these is some lovely runners. Mmm, more and those strawberries. We'll make some baby strawberries for next year. 
which would be good. We've not had too many strawberries from them this year because it's their first uh, first year after being planted, but uh, we should get a better crop next year. Do you want some lettuce? Uh, I don't know how that's going to go on the barbecue. Well, I thought maybe people might want to put some in their rolls or something. Oh, that's a great idea. Should I just rub a bit? I'm going yes, to that, that lettuce is absolutely bonkers. Oh, that's fantastic. Remember, I think we sowed it in March on the March video. Oh, yes. And what's over here? A big sunflower. Oh, that's the doing well. Big sunflower on the plot, so that's really good. That's Sophie's. She's very proud of it because it's bigger than me. <laughs> oh, I want to show you something. This is a ladybird pupa. One of these days it's going to hatch out into a ladybird. The beetroot. Oh, how's that doing? Oh, wow, the sun's ready to pick. Any scope for beetroot on the barbecue? What do you reckon? Um, I reckon we should have it in an allotment feast um, soon and I'll make okay. the mince brownies for it. Well, that's ready. How come my beetroot isn't like that? I don't know, really. Oh, very cross that you have. Look at the magnificent beetroot growing. It's, it's spreading. Oh my god, it's <laughs> trying to take over the world. And more importantly, look at my magnificent bees. Oh. Aren't they doing well? Oh, they're this doing one's going really over the top. Oh, they're so lovely. Look at all oh, this so squash doing garlic. well. Look at that lovely yeah, lot. Baby squash. Baby squash. My very first baby squash. I'm oh. quite pleased with it. Mine are quite a way behind Erica's. That's because you didn't put them in a heated propagator in Absolutely, March. I didn't cuddle them or anything. I cuddled them. Look, look at that! Erica has very kindly agreed to make a plat out of my garlic because she's done loads and I haven't. I want to show that to Hang on, be careful when showing it to the camera. Wow, that's as big as Solomon, it's huge. <laughs> and look at the size of these bulbs. I've got some really big ones in there, haven't I? Oh, you can hang that up in your kitchen and that will dry. <laughs> careful, no, no, Solomon, careful, careful, because it, it's not, it's not they, completely they, indestructible. Look. Look, that's that's amazing. Good. And I've still got quite a lot left, which makes me very happy. Thank you very much, Erica. No problem, I enjoyed it. Hey, Sophie, what do you make of that? That's great. Look at the lovely raspberries. Yeah, look at this. Oh my goodness. This is crazy raspberries. Oh. Oh. Oh, they're delicious. That's really good. So, go on. Sum up, sum up June for me. June, not much work, loads of things starting to grow.